In Charlotte neighborhood, a 92-year-old woman was stabbed to death when a man forced his way into her home. For the first time tonight, we hear from the woman's brother, who tells us she just returned from church. WCN's reporter Melissa Martin was in our mobile newsroom. She joins us live now with the interview you'll see only on WCNC. Bobby Mildred Kranz lived here in this home for the last 20 years, and she lived alone. Her brother told me he often came by and checked. He never imagined when she came home from church last night, someone would be waiting to hurt her. It was, it's a shock. There were nine of us children, and Mildred and I were the only two left. Now then, she's left me by myself. <laughs> Roy Pressler never imagined he'd lose his 92-year-old sister, Mildred Klontz, like this. And as she is opening her door, then the attacker pushed her inside the house and went in and did his knife work. Uh, evidently, he was close by. She didn't know he was there. And as she opened the door... Stabbing her multiple times. I understand that both sides of her throat was slashed and uh, several stab wounds. Stealing her $100, credit cards, handbag, and driver's license. Yeah, she's pretty proud of that. She had no trouble getting her license renewed recently. And she laughed and said she had them for another, I believe she said five years. Police talked to Mildred at the hospital, but she died this morning. Oh, it was a terrible thing to happen. As investigators gather clues, her killer is still on the run. They ought to catch him. I hope they do, but I doubt they will. And we just spoke moments ago with Klontz's grandson, who is inside the home right now, and he has been on the phone with police pretty heated because he says, in his words, that police have not acted on a key piece of evidence that they've had for the last 24 hours. Now, we won't tell us what that key piece of evidence is, but he says he just got a call from police, and they have submitted paperwork now to help with their investigation. Reporting live from our WCNC mobile newsroom in East Charlotte, I'm Melissa Martin.